hi welcome back to my youtube channel Cos craft and peace i make paper beads and i also make paper bead jewelry you're very welcome so <laughs> in today's video i just want to thank you people so much everyone who is subscribing to my channel who is liking it i hit 500 subscribers last week and it's really great it's i'm so happy thank you so much thank you so much oh i'm so happy i was happy the entire week <laughs> and now i'm over 500 subscribers and it really feels great that my channel is growing and growing thank you so much for supporting me thank you okay <laughs> okay okay in today's video i'll be making paper beads uh round paper beads from magazines uh, it's not hard i have already videos about round paper beads but i had to do this video anyway because i had to thank you people for subscribing to my channel so yeah so i have a bunch of paper beads that i did from magazines um and they're all vanished so they're all ready for sale so yeah so yeah so this is the best thing about paper from magazines you can have multiple colors you can have just different things come up so yeah okay so I'll put these aside and these are unvarnished so i'm also going to varnish them and as well put them in this format and i'll put them on my etsy shop so I won't be cutting paper, but I have a video about cutting paper for making paper beads. So I'll put the links down below how to cut paper for for making paper beads. Um, how to, <laughs> sorry, how to varnish your paper beads. I use mostly um, the stick method, the brushing where you put the you put the bead on the uh, like this. You put the bead on. On the toothpick stick and then you brush it so that's the method I use normally a lot so yeah but I'll give you the measurement so these beads differ um, so if you see this one this look bigger and this is slimmer and um, also the magazine texture and the, le the depth is it <laughs> Uh, sorry, um, it depends how deep the magazine is. Some magazines are thick and some are light. So yeah, that also gives you different uh, paper and sizes. But you can, uh, even if you use the same stripes, it won't give you the same sizes if the the length, <laughs> sorry, the depth, is it? Yeah, the depth of the magazine. Yeah, so, <laughs> okay. So this, I used six stripes to get to this size and um, this one I used five so these papers were thicker and this one is lighter so it gives you more small um, paper bit version and uh, if you see this one is as well a bit bigger okay so I'll give you the measurements um, so this is the normal magazines that I'm using right now just like one side of it uh, so the height of what I'm using right now is 29.7. So 29.7 and most of the times I use the best one centimeter. So all of them I think are one centimeter. Is it one centimeter? I'm sorry. Oh, maths. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's one centimeter, yeah. So there you go. So one centimeter with 20, 29 no 29.7 yes so yeah that's the the height so I have some already cut paper and I've been rolling paper beads so you will need to cut paper I'll put the links down below how to cut paper how to varnish your paper beads how to remove them safely everything will be down in this description box so don't worry if you don't have already cut paper and you don't know how to cut the paper Okay, so you need your roller. I use, um, <laughs> sorry, I use a, a knitting needle. I think it's two millimeters. Yeah, I think it's two, two millimeters. And um, yeah, I would need uh, glue. I'm using stick glue. And I always 
put the paper on here so I can wash it again and don't use paper a lot okay so let's start so I'll pick five stripes okay so another trick about getting a round bead is you need to organize the the papers because even if you cut them they never come out the same you see this one is smaller this one is bigger so always make the bigger ones to be outside of the sort of like protecting the the sh smaller ones then you just line them up so you get your roller press like that and press press with both thumbs going upwards So when you have something like that, then you put your glue on. And always balance them push them inward so they can balance up so that's the bead so it's a very short video but it was all about thanking you guys it's a thank you video and if you haven't yet subscribed you're always welcome to subscribe and if you found this video nice don't forget to give me a thumbs up please and see you next time in my next video i hope you have a wonderful time bye